Hello and welcome to your Buckeye TV weekly weather forecast. I'm student meteorologist Hunter Hoffman. Looking at the rest of your weather for September 27, 2018, currently looking at some mostly cloudy skies with 69 degree temperatures. Uh, we are expecting some rain later on this afternoon, but that should clear up by tonight. Besides the rain, it might be a little bit windy, wind gusting up to 10 miles per hour, but other than that, not really much to comment on. Heat index, dew points, and humidity are all staying considerably low for the time being. Heading on into later on tonight, it's going to be a little bit chilly, heading into 47 degrees Fahrenheit, heading into Friday, where we can expect some partly cloudy skies and a high of 71 and getting down into 52 on Friday night. Heading in the beginning of their weekend with the Buckeyes away game versus Penn State starting at 7.30 p.m., we can expect some more partly cloudy skies with a high of 69 degrees Fahrenheit and hanging in the 50 degrees on Saturday night. Looking at the rest of your weather for the United States, currently see some rain just south of us and that's currently pushing northwards into our area. You see not really too many bands of uh, heavy rainfall currently, it's all saying considerably low. And that again should clear up by later on tonight. Looking back on yesterday, however, the National Weather Service in Wilmington can confirm there was an EF1 tornado that went over the Brexley area of Columbus. That is south or six miles southeast of where we currently are in the Ohio State campus. What's remarkable about the storm is that it occurred at 5.53 a.m., which is nowhere near the, um, nowhere near the ideal conditions for a tornado uh, spawning storm. And looking at radar, we can see that there's not really much structure to, to, to suggest that there was a storm happening at that time. But then again, looking at our wind speed and direction, we can see these uh, two brightly colored areas of red and green very closely together, signifying some strong rotation on that storm. That rotation caused a tornado with wind speeds up to 90 miles per hour and causing some damage to some trees and some structures down in the Brexley area. Looking at the rest of your week, however, we can see that pretty much partly cloudy and some warming temperatures throughout the rest of the week. And that's thanks in part to a high pressure system that's going to move in throughout Sunday heading into Tuesday. And that'll push any other rain or any other storm systems away from us and gradually increase the temperatures due to uh, warmer temperatures fl flowing in from the south. Until next time, I'm Hunter Hoffman with your weekly weather forecast for Buckeye TV.